So, can you describe Hog and Field Lock back then? Much the same, only it had a big a big boat that you paid two pence to go on and it took you around the lock. Now that was exciting for us, but you, when you look at it now you think, that was only going around the circle. <laughs> but for us it was exciting. And then as you got older you were allowed on the own boat, which was eight pence. Don't know why it was two pence to go on the big boat and eight pence to go on the small It was either eight pence or four pence, can't quite remember. So as we got older we were braver. But as we got to teenagers, we were flyer. Two would go on the boats, roll round the other end, and then about ten years got on the boat. <laughs> so they could, the people that did it couldn't see or the island. And then there was always signs, don't go on the island, but we did. What did you do on the island? Just plodded about, looking at bird's eggs and messing about and just thought it was funny because we were on the island. <laughs> Many a time right off on the way back, the boat would capsize. But I was feared because I couldn't swim. So I was always hanging onto the boat. A few times we got caught and they said they were bad, but we would just send two different people doing the next time. <laughs> they were fly enough to do that. 